Hey everyone, welcome to Night Signal. From the people that made Home Safety Hotline, I remember the name properly. We played that just last week and I was so like endeared by that game that I was like, oh, I should totally check out Night Signal then. Because I remember it coming out and I was like, yeah, I could play it, but eh, I don't know, so much of my plate, blah, blah, blah. And I never got around to it, but now that I know who they are, I want to see what this is all about. Whatever we plant in our subconscious mind and nourish with repetition and emotion will one day become reality. Oh, that's FMV. Are we going into a little dream house? Oh, okay. Oh. Pick up. Change the channel, left, right click. Congratulations on your new Heineker television. With your install package, you should receive one remote dial, one television, and one antenna set. Your remote dial will allow you to switch stations from anywhere. Try it on for size by clicking the dial backward or forward, batteries included. <laughs> okay. If your picture is fuzzy, try adjusting the antenna to get a bigger signal. Warning, antenna do not operate correctly at night. Please refrain from using after sundown. Enjoy your new television. Three, four. Okay, we need to adjust the antenna. Where is it? So dark in here. Can I go outside? I don't see anything through that. Oh, my eyes. Oh, can't go through here. Whoa, okay. Time is getting wonky. Potato face. How you doing? Why does it go from one to four? Oh, there's only four channels, that's why. <laughs> Hello, fellow potato. Turns out they're self-portraits. I am the potato. Maybe it's just the antenna on top. Oh, I can, uh, no, I can adjust both. Oh! Channel one, news! Oops. Just turned it on. And now a word from our sponsor. <laughs> Gosh, this breakfast sure is boring. Just eggs, bacon, toast, potatoes, uh, eggs, bacon, fried and steak, toast, mm. fresh fruit. Uh. I wish I could have something exciting for once. Good news! It's Sugar Munch to the rescue. Sugar Munch is the fun way to start your day. Every bite is full of sugar crystals so big you'll crunch, crunch, crunch all morning long. It's just sugar cubes. Sugar morning breakfast to take a hike and start the day with a bowl of sugar munch. Disclaimer, sugar munch is not a substitute for a real breakfast. <laughs> real breakfast, stay away. Sugar munch is here to save the day. Nice. And now back to the back show. To our scheduled program. You're about to enter a space between all known reality. A place where nothing is what it should be. A place where science is always lost and faith always misplaced. You are entering the fog space. That's good. In this episode, we'll be following the footsteps of a Miss Bethany Bellows. 
Bethany is an ordinary woman taking an evening stroll. But unknown to her, she's just taken her first steps into the fog space. <laughs> Hey, Mark. Contestant, your next question is, who first discovered the technological capabilities of lunar dust in 1960? Lunar Carl dust? Hedger? Correct. Now watch out, this next one is a real brain teaser. <laughs> this concludes our broadcast day. What? Oh, someone left something. Can I turn the TV off though? TV guide. 1963 Wait, it's all blank Watch the signals. Ooh, 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 antenna signals. Ho, 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 ho. Okay, okay, okay. Watch the signals. Whoa, it got misty in my room all of a sudden. Look at that. That's so cool. Okay, let's put it on one. So the first one is that straight and that out. So this. Hmm. Nothing though. Whoa! A new TV guide entry has appeared. Surge? Whoa. What does that do? Oh, I can shoot with it. Okay, those are the symbols I have. But not in that order. So that's two. Oh. Oh wait, I could have maybe looked through the- Oh. Welcome fellow watcher, your eyes been opened. Rejoice! The more you watch, the better you'll see. Seek more signals and let the guide teach you its blessings. Oh. Okay, okay. Hmm, nothing for this one. Yet. Okay. Being a man, son, means <laughs> never showing emotion, with the exception of violent rage. Okay. Being okay. a man, son, means you gotta put on real big shoes. Not clown shoes, though. Not like clown shoes. Clowns aren't real men. Okay, Dad. Son, listen to me. Listen to me closely. When you're a man, the President of the United States will come to your house and shake your hand to congratulate you on your manhood. That's how you'll know you made it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Son, I must confess something to you. The President God, so loud. My hand. I'm a fraud, son. Okay. And now, a word from our sponsor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gosh, it sure is. The Fox Beast. 
Do you don't think it's the same one? Dial. Don't adjust your television and don't look behind you. You've stepped into the fog space. In this episode, we trace the steps of a Mr. Patrick Pinkerton, a formerly faithless man who recently found a newfound faith in an unlikely place, tucked away in the pages of his television guide. Unlucky for him, this particular guide was packaged, postage, and shipped from the fog space. Mm -hmm. I can't come to the funeral, honey. The TV guide said it was too dangerous. I can't. <laughs> oh, Patrick! Can't you see that this guide is ruining your life? It's just a TV guide! You don't understand. It can see into the future, honey. I've shown you. Every show comes on at exactly the time it says. It's a TV guide, Patrick! <laughs> they schedule these things in advance! <laughs> Who could that be at the door? That dude again. Creepy. Wheel spin. Let's say it together, Papa spin. Spinorama. No spin zone. Stop spin. This is gonna never end. <laughs> it's been forever. <laughs> oh, maybe if I um. Wait, how do I charge it again? Oh, oops. Spacebar. It did. It worked. The painting is gonna like turn and look at me at some point. This concludes our broadcast day. Okay, let's try the first one. Ooh! Oh, 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 holy shit! Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, that scared me! Oh, oh, I gotta zap him! Jeez! Oh, scared the crap out of me. Any more? I panicked. Like that. Oh, there they are. <sighs> so creepy. Okay, let's try a different one. Hmm. Beeble wargo fru, neeps po wobble beeble bo pook. Yippee, whoa, deagles! Pana nan shug! Peel the bone. Waggle, waggle, waggle! Do not the fog. Stay beeble! Dipper to glipper. <laughs> Watch, no purse. <laughs> oh wait, they're staying. They already walked away. Wait, let me read the other ones. Oh, it's the same. Okay. It's normal to be scared, Watcher, but they harm us not to punish but to teach. Study them, see them. You're well on your way. Damn. Okay. Um. Hmm. 
Not that. And now, our local weather report with Spencer Hanson. Thank you, Benson. As you know, we've been having quite the tizzy of non-stop fog this past week. As thick as your mother's broth. <laughs> Today is more of the same, with the fog getting even thicker. That's some broth, folks. Be sure to keep a sharp eye out on those roads today, or better yet, stay indoors if you have nowhere to be. You'll want to keep yourself bundled up, too, because, baby, it's cold out there. Looking to hit less than five degrees today. That's what we call hot chocolate weather where I'm from. Delicious. Back to you, Benson. <laughs> Thank you, Spencer. In other news, we've received word today that the West Acre Chili Contest is still going ahead as scheduled. Despite Chili. the harsh weather and recent disappearance of last year's contest winner, Martha Fairweather. This should be great news for you Chili fans out there. Sources say the West Acre Chili Contest will be held just outside the West Acre Public Library as usual this Saturday. And I, for one, can't wait to try what those West Acre moms can cook up this year. And now, a word from our sponsor. Gosh, my mouth is still so... And now back oh, it's a different sponsor. Family. Shit. Wait, maybe I can. So dry and flavorless. Where can a fella get a good puff when he needs one? Smokes. For less when kazoo smokes go down smooth and soft and creamy and delightful for your mouth. Kazoo smokes have what you need. Take a rest and light one up for tea, or maybe during lunch hours. Just don't let your boss catch you, or he'll ask you to share. <laughs> When you need a puff, where do you turn? Kazoo smokes are said to burn. <laughs> oh my god, that dog. And now, back to our scheduled program. And now, our local weather report with Spencer Hansen. Cave, why? Why don't you put my cave keys? I put them in the cave kitchen, cave husband. Cave, why? Did you clean the cave kitchen? <laughs> I did, cave husband. Cave why? My cave keys are in the cave garbage disposal. Oh no, I'll call the cave plumber. <laughs> cave why? The cave plumber is my cave boss. If he sees me like this, I'm gonna be fired. Oh no, wait, I know what to do. <laughs> Huh, that was a little different. And now, a word from our sponsor. Gosh, I sure am tired, but I just can't fall asleep at night thanks to my constant horrific nightmares. What's a fella to do? Haha, <laughs> uh -huh, that was it. <laughs> Maybe I'll watch it tomorrow. For a second I thought there were stars outside, but it's just the specks in the air. No, 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 not again. Oh. Oh! Oh, I'm almost dead. Stop it! Cracks in the walls. Okay, it's the same. Oh, he's outside! Oh, so this is where you can find them? Ah. So this is the first one I found. A night dedication to eyes everywhere. It's Visage brings a jolt of pep and a heart of mind to every household. Its surging energy is yours to wield. Look upon Watcher's eye, be anywhere, but and anything is a possibility. Be welcome, Watcher. Behold. Beazel. Laughing antics and chortle experiences are provided for the whole family unit. Join Beazel every night and share in the belly fun. If you can't make time for Beazel, Beazel will surely make time for you. The feelers. Ticklish entertainment guaranteed to make you wiggle. The feelers send an invitation for you to take part in the shenanigan. Feel a tingle and a tickle. It may be fantabulous finger full feeler at your feet. 
Oh. Blabber. Fun, relatable conversation to have come out of a mouth. Listen with sincerity. Talking about anything just as a close personal companion would in a shop for water beans. Take your time for blabber. The shouting one. There he is. Silent shouts make the day slide. Feel strong, raw anxiety inside. Let it out, let it ride. You become what you are afraid of. Scream as loud as you can, but noise do not. It's almost time, but not yet. Shout now or shout never. Okay. Nope. Shit. Oh, I died. Oh, man. Oh, it remembers, though, what I already have. Okay, nice. This concludes our broadcast day. Okay, let's start here again. So he has the cracks that appear. <laughs> Laughing guy. And then the fourth is finger, so I'm not gonna do that one. One, two, nice, three, four, okay. Oh! I think I died. Oh, do you think I'm melting? I was! Oh my god. Goo goo! Goo goo helps you remember the small time. You are nothing. You are but pathetic, pathetic flesh mass. You are small. You are melt. Desirable's out of reach. Melting. You are slime. Goo goo brings you back the simpler time. <laughs> what was the other one I saw? Flathead. Makes your top drop. Tops need. Tops need not be topped with flathead. Enjoy the crumble of tops as they descend. You can be a flathead too. Sing the song of flattened merriment. Gr crumble, 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 crumble. I hate the feelers. They hurt. I'm worried now that something will come and hurt me. Who's at the door? Oh, that guy again. Okay. Whoa, it's coming in! Whoa. What is going on? Today's breaking story is a tragic one, I'm afraid. The West Acre Chili Contest has been taken. Your eyes are adjusting. You see as you're meant to see. Do not lose faith. That due to another unfortunate disappearance, there would no longer be enough qualified chili tasters to judge the entries. The West Acre Mob Council is currently on the lookout for potential replacements with the right qualifications. But such talents are hard to come by on such short notice. A sad day for chili fans everywhere. <laughs> and now, a word from our A sponsor. sad day for chili fans. And now back to the Barely see it. I'm seeing other signals. Maybe if we adjust. Mm. Weird. 
Things are getting bad. Okay. Nope. I'm ready this time. Okay. That was the first one. I feel like I'm just seeing the same ones now, though. Whoa, never mind. Sweets. Make time for thought with sweets. Thought of the unknowable, make unheard wishes to those inside the fog. Your wish come true? Sweets knows it won't, but sweets can't be stopped. Sweets must wish. Keep wishing, keep wishing. Oh, no, not that one. Uh, no, not that one either. I won't be squished. Okay. Uh, let's go to this one. Apparently that hurt. Maybe I should just leave it on static now. So I went through all of them. Is this painting changing? Oh. Oh. The days become shorter as the nights grow longer. The glorious fog is coming to take the faithful. Seek more signals, grow your knowledge. The everlasting night is nearly upon us. Uh, no. It. Gotta get through the day first. The fog zone. There's the face! Tyrants? Do you think more people are getting hurt? Okay. Let's start with this one. That's new. Ouch. Oh! Jesus! Oh god! Oh! No! Don't hurt me! Big flying hands! Okay. Uh, that was that one. Nope. Just wondering where you were. Stinky hands. Okay. Um... Oh, this is a new one. The night orb. Tell it like it is. That's the motivation of this sacred orb. Witness the light of forbidden knowledge. Feel the vibration of your skull. Know it is truth in your sensations. Keep the secrets deep inside your brain hole. <laughs> okay. Nope. Not that one. Nope. Scaly welly. Something's in the corner, you can see it. Skelly is pleasing to your bones. Feel your bones, listen to them. They desire the soil, and Skelly Welly aims to please. Skelly gives the gift of soil to all watchers that wish. Wish for your bones. What is that? Oh, this is a bad channel. Uh, I've died. What killed me? I, I have no idea. Oh, Skelly! I didn't even know- I didn't even see Skelly! How have I been doing though? Good. Kazuzu. What's that ear piercing sound? It must be Kazuzu time. This form gives way to the best inaudible experience. Soundscapes for your unborn offspring to dance the night away. Okay, missing five and six. Humdrum! 
The bug of one and only, Humdrum wants to make the bad in your body good again. Let your fleshy fruit blossom bloom with the hum. Space your thoughts and have no quarrel with Humdrum. Blabber. Fun, relatable conversation to have come out of a mouth. Listen with sincerity. Talking about anything just as a close personal companion would in a shop for water beans. Take time for your blabber. So I'm missing like four, five, six, six, I think. It's misty outside. This concludes our broadcast day. Oh, it's nighttime already. Oh, flying hands. No, ah. God, they hurt so much, and it's hard to see them. No, dang it. Get him, get him before they get you. Ooh. So many. Ah, so many. Too many hands. Okay. okay this one's... Ooh. Oh, there's the orb of knowledge! That's what that is. Wow. Do you think touching that kills me? I think Skelly killed me. Do you think I can walk into it? Yeah. This time I went through it. Okay. Can I shoot it? Oh, there it comes. It's this one, right? I feel like he'll hurt me. Ah, there we go. Time is nigh. Watchers night is upon us. Tonight the faithful will be saved. Find the remaining gaps in your knowledge. Seek signal wisdom in its entirety. And you too may experience the eternal bliss of the fog. The moon's still here. Watch your night is upon us. Ooh, every channel's the same. Cool. Oh, that's Skelly. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh god, I need to get out of here. Did I get him? No, I didn't get him. I think I got him. I just went crazy. I need to change the thing. Okay. There, now it's at least static. Oh! What did I get? Skelly's back. Okay, let me see. The gaps in my wisdom. These are good. The night orb is here. Okay, so I'm only looking for 10 and 11. It's four to go. 10, 11, 15, 16. Did the table break? Oh, it did. Ah. Get out of here. Oh, that's the big hands. The big hands are here. Go crazy! Go, go crazy! Okay. Okay. That was this one. Yeah. Okay. Um. Oh, there he is. What's that one? Ooh, I don't know what it is. 
I gotta go. No, wrong one, wrong one. Ah! Oh my god. Okay. Ooh, this is it. This is different. What is that? True gaze. Gaze gives sight to the watching. Let gaze see inside. Gaze give the eyes the strength to fulfill. Be fulfilled and seek the new true. Feel proximity to the fog and rejoice. Hubs. Hubs knows what's, what is the best. He is the one and only Hubs. The ground on which you stand is slow, weak, gooey in Hubs' righteous eyes. You cannot live up to Hubs' standards. Quackers. Flutter and swim so swell, swollen so wet, gristling crunch with the tune of quack. All families entertain with quack antics. Okay, so only one missing then. All the portraits are different. No! Ugh. I think I got them. Is there anything by the door? Because now I can't see because of the floor. No. Okay. So... Which one haven't I done yet? Oh, I gotta be very careful. I think I have to do this one. There! The door. Only wide open eyes can see. Can you see? Can you hear? Wishes, tastes, and good noises await those who enter. Enter and be free of the soil. Be free of the static. Be free of feet. Be free of mind. Enter or do not leave. That's it. I got it. And then change the channel. <laughs> hmm. Well, the TV is big. I thought I was squatting down, but the TV went was just enlarged. Hello, my cloak. Thank you. The all-knowing orb. <laughs> the chili cook off, no! <laughs> Cancelled, no! Wow, I can really see how this is like the one to come before the hotline one. You can really tell the same kind of ideas are present, but they... I mean, I thought this was great. It was a little difficult, but it's nice that actually dying doesn't like undo any of your progress so it was fine i do think the hotline one is way more fleshed out it's a bigger game obviously but i think you can see they refined it in the later one i think still very enjoyable that was very weird and fun those hands are creepy though <laughs> creepy ah and this one has art book too Oh wow, look at that! My all-time favorite horror experience comes from a 1995 point-and-click adventure game by Inkscape called The Dark Eye. Oh, I need to look at that. I wonder if you can still play it nowadays. The game used stop-motion puppets to represent all its human characters and it gave the whole game this creepy mood where you're never quite comfortable even in safe places, thanks to their uncanny designs. It was utterly unique experience and I wanted to create something even vaguely similar to it for some time. I also grew up in the Twilight Zone, which I also found to have this consistent feeling of uncanniness. I was just bursting with cre creativity in every episode. Twilight Zone is synonymous with the concept of horror television to me. So when the idea for a horror game about watching television came up, it was the first thing I thought of when it came to visual influences. 
So cool. I tend to tackle game development aesthetics first, so naturally the very first thing I did after setting up a basic room with a television set in it was to create this little clay head. I don't have a green screen, so you'll see I often just put pic take pictures in front of my computer screen with a green image displayed. Oh, wow. Damn. Helps me crop the clay figures out more easily. I slept this hat onto some public domain footage of a man talking and immediately loved the resulting uncanny contrast. Potato face! Who was this dude? No clue. I can figure that out later. So he goes for the vibes first. First signal is created by taking my photos of this grinning dude and throwing some public domain footage at of a forest fire over him. Cool. So creative. It's worth noting that one of my weaknesses is lack of 3D modeling. I'm kind of terrible at it, but I wanted some of the signals to come after you, so I made a few in a free web-based modeling program. Wow. I began to miss the actual process of making clay models and decided, screw it, the story should allow for as many of these fun weird things as possible. <laughs> the little gooey. <laughs> goo goo and flathead. It's so fun seeing all of these now where you're like, oh yeah, I saw these in the game. Oh, the sugar cereal! A photo of a bowl full of ice and rice salt. So maybe give the impression of a large sugar crystal. Yep, you did a great job because I thought that was straight up sugar. Wow. So creative, really fun. Thanks for reading this far. Night Signal was above all else incredibly visceral fun to make and I hope you will feel the energy in the end result with all its messy handprints. Yes, that was great. I really enjoyed that. I'm glad I played it now. The other one is creepy as well, but it's creepy fun where it's like you just read all the information comes through reading and in this one you kind of have to defend yourself and fight back as well, which gave it a bit more of a frantic approach, uh, which was fun in its own right. Well, that was Night Signal. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Leave a like if you did and thank you so much for watching.